One late change for the Melbourne Storm. Nelson is over Solomona in his first game of the year, starting from the bench. Yeah, the big boys come back, a late change. I, I'm guessing they're just going to manage his minutes, but he has played the last couple of weeks for the North Sydney Bears, averaging about 46 minutes. So his impact will be enormous. It's also the third consecutive game that this Melbourne Storm spine has been intact. And then the big talking point, obviously, from the Roosters is James Tedesto comes back. He lines up at fullback, which moves Manu back into the centre. So. By way of premierships, Melbourne arrive here, though, with just the one loss so far in the season. Some very tight margins, though. In fact, that 8-0 victory to Penrith at the start of the season, round one down in Melbourne. That's the biggest margin they've had all year since then. It's been wins by four, two and two, and a loss, of course, to Newcastle by a couple of points also. The Roosters get their skipper back this evening. Looking to bounce off a stirring win against Newcastle, minus some of their key men last week. finished off. We're going to see another blockbuster tonight, I think so. Pappy kicks us off. Played by Bloor. Grant Munster, big tackle. Swali'i came rocketing in. And Smith did well just to maintain possession. Now Munster with a dummy. No one took that. That's his old teammate, Brandon Smith. And uh, Radley was also there, and Butcher was part of that tackle too. Away comes Welsh this time. An intense battle through the early skirmishes. Hughes kicks high, Warbrick plays it back. And a chance now for Hughes, who backs up his own kick. He's into the backfield, Jerome Hughes is scored! They allowed Melbourne to make a free play of the ball and Jerome Hughes continues a stellar start to 2024. He is the key. Just watch this high shot. Harvey Norman replay. He's the man that takes the kick. He gets held back by Lindsay Collins. It comes out to the right-hand side. Warwick dispatches it back. Now look at Hughes. He just finds space. He wants to compete. There's three jerseys. There's three Roosters players around. But he just finds a way. What a competitor. That's why your halves and your fullback, your best support players, they understand where the space is. When that ball was knocked back, as soon as it was knocked back, Jerome Hughes just started sprint, sprinting to that space, just in case. He likes it. Uh, the lips are out. Oh, he's happy, isn't he? In the storm. Well, they've made it six. Hey, boss, do you need me for overtime this Saturday? <laughs> I think I've got an overtime. <laughs> and here's a chance out on the right-hand edge. It's that man, Collins, again. Now Watson, working with lots of territory. Butcher. Legs tackle made by Harry Grant. He's not supposed to be over there. Manu, Watson, Kiri. Here's another jumping contest. Tupo with the running, Warbrick with the standing start. It's on the ground and it's a try to the Roosters. Yeah, great try by the Roosters. They were on a roll in that set. So knocked forward by Warbrick. And Meany has a chance, but the ball escapes his grasp. And Michael Jennings, who celebrated... He's a lovely striker, isn't he? Six points each. That undeniable talent. Liero across to Hughes. Now Katoa. Another handling error. He palmed Kiri off, but he's stuck on. <laughs> That's bone jarring. There's some... Full on contact out there tonight. Four, through the hands, he nearly overran that Xavier Coates, and in fact, he had to prop to go back and collect it around his ankles. Last play. Munster up and across. Katoa's getting through. Katoa gets a catch. 
The Roosters come in now. This Katoa spins and gets it down. Wow. What about the strength? <laughs> what a pickup he's been at the Melbourne Storm. A kick from Munster. Awkward side with his left foot. But he gets his angles right. And Katoa, he was at the Warriors. You could see the potential. But coming to the Melbourne Storm, Craig Bellamy can unlock forwards especially. And there's two players on him here. Will they look at Nelson spearing in from behind? I don't think so, but the way he turns and goes over. Now, Nelson comes in and helps and pushes forward. I don't know what terminology they use for this one. Well, we can see, we can see James Tedesco. He's actually talking with Ashley Klein right now. But Nelson goes forward and pushes him, which I don't think matters because he ends up twisting himself. Yeah, what they'll, what they'll be trying to determine, Joey, is... Okay, come on. Break! It's been high class stuff, hasn't it? Very willing. Highly engaging. A slight difference, although he has uh, notched out one of the tackles of the season on Sean Bloor. We thought it would be close. The conditions not suited to free-flowing attack. Oh, I reckon they've got huge numbers out there. Hughes is going to kick through. He gets checked as he's trying to pursue the kick. I'd imagine this will be a penalty. Put him no! In a you knocked it back. He was shadowing. It's OK. Oh, gee, they're blowing up Melbourne. He got knocked over for sure, Jerome. Yeah. And uh, there'll be a sin bin here on Munster. This will be a sin bin. Wow. What a Jerome Hughes. Oh. Well, that's a penalty. That's a sin bin. I ruling. What I've ruled is he's shattering the ball. The Josh has knocked it back in, which has hit Luke. But because there's a secondary motion by Josh, he's no longer shadowing. That's my ruling. So because the uh, there, was, there was no penalty rule... <laughs> Munch has blown a kiss to the crowd. Here is the man. He's going to pull the trigger out to Swali'i. He flew. He tapped it back. That's amazing skill by Swali'i. And Manu was waiting and accepts gleefully. Beneficiary of a tap back from Swahili. Swali'i. Harvey Norman replay. Look at him get up. Nice tap back. Four points, Chooks. couple of steps before he lets rip. That is a wonderful kick under the pressure. <laughs> Organising uh, some players maybe to inconvenience the oncoming Roosters chase as Nelson pops one out the back. It comes away to Jerome Hughes and out to Eli Katoa. He's pulled down seven metres away. They've got to go now. It's point blank here if they want it. They ignore it. They go back to Hughes. Pappenhausen ball on the ground. This is a hot ball, this one. Melbourne get it. Last play of the set. Hughes out for Emma Smith the leap. Knocked on by Melbourne and get out by the Roosters again. And another kick by Munster to take advantage. And Coates has got the Fortune favours the brave. Oh, what play by the Melbourne Storm. Streaming down the face. Harvey Norman replay. There was multiple kicks in this in this last tackle. They come around the back to Harry Grant. Nice little kick out to Xavier Coates. He had plenty to do. And the big man. Oh, what a try.
He's done it nicely. The referee said there were two involved, and that will bring the game to a conclusion. And Melbourne continue to march on, and this trend of narrow results has also continued here. Their first game at Allianz, and their first win, and Cameron Munster, he's heard all the boos before.